Alright, welcome back to another video of the trigonometry course on NIE.network. In this video, we're still focusing on angles and applications, which is our first unit. Um, but today, we're going to be talking about a new topic. So uh, let's go ahead and write our main topic right here, which is trigonometry. And uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about arc lengths. Now, if you don't know what an arc is, it's essentially uh, a segment of a circle. So, for example, this is our circle here. We have an angle going like this. So, we all know that this, ang this is an angle right here. We're going to call it data. And this segment here is the radius. This is the radius as well. And here... This segment of the circle is called the arc, which uh, in this case I will go ahead and give the variable s. So the equation in finding the arc is pretty simple. So the equation is um, s is equal to uh, radius multiply by data now so it's basically saying the arc is equal to the radius multiplied by um, data in in radian measure now in the last video we talked about radians and degrees so right so about this point you should be pretty familiar with them so we're not going to be talking about them, but uh, just keep in mind that we're using radians and uh, we're not using degrees. So let's go ahead and uh, get an example going here. So let's go ahead and draw another circle. Alright, so we have our center here. We have um, our angle. Let this be... Uh, Let's see, one third radian. And this is the radius. And we are given the radius, for example, is equal to 30 inches. So we can go ahead and write uh, is equal to 30 inches. We have 30 inches on this side as well. And we want to find S, which we don't currently know. So let's go ahead and write down our equation. So S is equal to radius multiplied by data. Now since data is already given uh, in radian form, we don't have to convert it. Uh, so let's go ahead and just plug in our values. So we have S is equal to uh, 30 multiplied by 1 third. Alright, so if we go ahead and do the math, do the algebra, we will find out that S is equal to 10 inches. Alright, pretty simple. So, let's go ahead and uh, move on. So, let's get another example problem going. So, for example, we have a circle. That was pretty bad. Let me go ahead and try again. All right, that's good enough. All right, so uh, so here, let's go ahead and have the center point be here. So let's draw an angle. And this time, I'm going to put it in degrees form, so we'll actually have to convert it. So let's say this is 50 degrees, and the radius here is equal to um, how about 10 feet alright fair enough so uh, we go ahead and mark this S because that's our arc so let's go ahead and uh, first of all write down our equation but before we can go ahead and actually solve this, we will have to convert this angle from degrees to radians. So, uh, if you remember from the last part of this course, the equation for that 
is um, 1 is a uh, pi over 180 multiplied by data and that will get you the radi uh, that will get you data in degrees form so we go ahead, we're just gonna keep that in mind so um, we don't need the equal sign so let's go ahead and plug in our values we have 50 pi over 180 and what is that equal to that equals to 5 pi over 18 so just we can cross out the two zeros so we can go ahead and do that and we'll have 5 pi over 18 now uh, we can actually work with this equation so uh, let's go ahead and plug in our values so s is equal to 10 feet multiplied by 5 pi over 18 if we uh, go ahead and do the math it will equal uh, 50 pi over 18 which we can go ahead and simplify uh, we can go ahead and uh, take out 2 so we have 25 pi over 9 um, feet don't forget our unit and that is the length of S alright uh, now that I have showed you how to do these problems I'm gonna give you some problems that you're gonna do uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get a circle in this problem um, Go ahead and uh, let's make this 80 degrees. And uh, this will be uh, 20 uh, centimeters. Alright, and you're trying to find S. So, uh, I'll give you 5 seconds. You can pause the video, do it on paper, and then once you're finished, you can check my solution to see if you got it correctly. But if you just want to watch me solve it, then don't pause the video. So I'll give you five seconds, and uh, we'll I'll show you how to solve it. All right. Um, so now I'm gonna show you how to solve this problem. So uh, we already know that we cannot use degrees in our formula s equals r data. So we need to first of all transform. Uh, 80 degrees into radians. Now we mo we need to multiply 80 by pi over 180. So we will get uh, 80 pi over 180. And we can go ahead and cross out the zeros. We can divide it by 2. We get 4 pi over 9. So 4 pi over 9. All right, so that is uh, the, three, the the measure in radians of this angle. Now, uh, if we remember, uh, the equation for solving this is S equals R data. So we're going to take uh, R, plug it in. We're going to take what we just figured out as data in radians and plug it in. And then uh, if we multiply them, we will get S. So s is equal to 20 multiplied by 4 pi over 9 which will get us 80 pi over 9 and the uh, uh, unit in this case will be centimeters alright let's do one more question uh, before I end this video and uh, you can go ahead and take the actual uh, you, uh, you can actually take the lesson quiz. So uh, let's go ahead and get another circle going. This one's really bad, so I'm gonna do it again. Uh, so he so yeah, there we go. Uh, this time let's have the angle be much bigger. How about let's have the angle be um. I don't know, uh, 110 degrees. Alright, and uh, the radius, uh, let's have it be um, 5 meters. And we want to find S. So I give you 5 seconds, 
and then I'll come back and show you how to solve it. So, um, all right, time's up. Let's go ahead and solve this question. So, let's go ahead and convert 110 into radians. So, we're going to take this and multiply by pi over 180, which will get 110 pi over 180, which is just basically equal to uh, 11 pi over 18. So, now we can take this and multiply by 5 to get s. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, multiply it by 5. So, uh, and our result will equal S. So, we'll end up with 55 pi over 18, and that will be in meters. Alright, thank you for watching this part of the course for trigonometry. I hope you enjoy. I hope you understood everything uh, I talked about in this video. If you still have questions, send me, um, a, con uh, send me a message through the contact feature on the website. And uh, hope you have fun in the quiz. Uh, give yourself some practice, and uh, see you in the next. I'll uh, see you in the next video. Yeah. Bye.